Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Daphne. I'm Ashley Langham. And I'm Michael Gifford, and this is the 2017-2018 premiere of the Daphne News Network. Seniors who have paid to decorate a parking spot have been assigned those spots, and no one else is allowed to park in them. A Quidditch information meeting will be held on August 31st in the library at 3.15. A fishing team information meeting will be September 12th at 3.30. FFA will also have a meeting September 5th at 3.30. All current and past ag students are invited to attend. Dance team trial packets are in room 131 and in the main office. The deadline to turn these in is Friday, September 8th. Any student interested in participating in the annual National Shrimp Festival signing competition for scholarships should contact Ms. Mixon for more information. For any student interested in joining the JV or Varsity Scholars Bowl team, there will be a meeting in one, room 122 immediately after school today. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Basil or Ms. Hunter. Key club applications are due September 5th, and the first meeting is September 6th at 7.30 in the library. Baseball tryouts will be September 25th, 26th, 27th, which is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. If anyone interested in trying out for the baseball team needs to see Coach Eddington in room 167 as soon as possible. Any swimmers or divers that miss tryouts but still want to be on the team should stop by room 109 for more information. The DHS Art Club held its first meeting yesterday. Meetings will be every other Tuesday if you're not able to attend the first meeting. The next meeting will be September 12th. You do not have to be in any art class to join the club. It is for any and all students who are interested. Congratulations to the following students who competed against hundreds of other students for the opportunity to be a part of the Mobile Symphony and Orchestra. Michael Duggar, Erica Horn, and Darina Gerard all auditioned for a lucrative position in this fine ensemble. The orchestra is a youth organization associated with the Mobile Symphony and rehearses weekly. They perform several concerts throughout the year at the famous Sanger Theater in Mobile, so we should all go see them. This week, our girls' volleyball team has their first game on Thursday at St. Paul's. It is a tri-tourney, and we would like to wish them good luck. There's also a pep rally this Friday morning, and it is a neon out, so come ready. This Friday night, we play Spanish Fort at home. Everybody should be there, and it's going to be a big game, so wear neon also. Go Trojans! <laughs> the fun fact of the day is, in Japan, letting a sumo wrestler make your baby cry is considered good luck. And the riddle for today is, what never asks questions but is often answered. Stay tuned in tomorrow to see the answer. Today for lunch we're having a cheeseburger or a hamburger with lettuce and tomato, potato wedges, cauliflower, fruit, and a brownie. Okay, welcome to our very first segment of a new game we like to call Try Not to Laugh, where students will battle faculty members and tell bad jokes, and if the other team laughs, the other team gets a point. But if you feel like you're going to laugh, you can tap out and have your next partner come in. Here we go. First segment, we have Aspen Galvin and Lexi Adams versus Dr. Smith and Mr. Lawless. What's brown and sticky? A stick. Know. That's bad. Where should a 500 pound alien go? On a diet. <laughs> Darn it! Question okay. Dr. Smith. Uh, right. Is it my turn? Mm -hmm. What is invisible and smells of worms? I don't know. A bird's fart. <laughs> Very mature. I see that. What did one toilet say to the other? I don't know. You look a bit flushed. Ooh. What do you get when you cross a cow and a duck? I don't know. Milk and crackers. <laughs> 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 that was really good. 
That was a solid joke. I like that. Why was the broom late? I don't know. It overslept. Good one. <laughs> Why did Tigger look in the toilet? I don't know. To find poo. Valiant. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. What kind of car does Mickey Mouse's wife drive? I don't know. A minivan. That's funny. How does Jesus make tea? He brews it. <laughs> what state has the smallest drinks? I'm the Minnesota. <laughs> How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. I like that one. <laughs> Why did the man run around his bed? What? Catch up on his sleep. <laughs> what do you call a fake noodle? I don't know. An impasta. Nice. Good one. Alright, got one more. Why did the robber take a bath before he stole from the bank? I don't know. He wanted to make a clean getaway. Good one. Yes. Why couldn't the toilet paper cross the road? Why? He got stuck in a crack. <laughs> Where do animals go when their tails fall off? A retail store. <laughs> Call a singing laptop. Oh. Adele. Should I continue? That's not my joke. We got one more for you. I used to be addicted to the hokey pokey, but now I turn myself around. <laughs> So there you have the final score. There's two for the faculty and zero for the students. First round goes to faculty. Tune in tomorrow for the next segment. <laughs>